Welcome to September's LeetCo Challenge. Today's problem is max consecutive ones. Given a binary array nums, return the maximum number of consecutive ones in the array. If we're given an array like this, we can see the maximum number of consecutive ones is going to be three, like so. So let's not overcomplicate this. Our approach is going to be to use two pointers. What we're going to do is have a left pointer starting at the very beginning, the zero index, and we'll have a right pointer that iterates down through our entire array. Now what we're going to check to see is, is this number a one? Now if it's a one, then we want to just keep the left pointer where it is. And we will calculate our maximum number of consecutive ones to be r minus l uh, plus one. So here at this very first point, we can see r is zero, l is zero, so that's going to be 0 plus 1. So our maximum length of consecutive ones right now is 1. Now we continue on. If we see that it's 1, we'll keep our left pointer where it's at. And this will be r1 minus 0 plus 1 is equal to 2. And indeed, that's going to equal 2. But when we see that we're pointing to a 0 now, what we're going to do is move our left pointer all the way up ahead to actually 1 ahead of the right pointer like this. So now here at this point, it's going to be 2 minus 3, which is going to be negative 1 plus 1, that's going to be 0. And z right here, it's 0, right? And now we'll keep our left pointer here. And each time we'll check to see if that's a 0 or 1. If it's a 1, we'll keep it. And we'll calculate the maximum number of consecutive zeros. And here, I'll go all the way down up to here, which will be a length of 3. So let's begin. All we need is a left pointer, as well as our output. Both of these will be 0. And we're going to say for right pointer and number in enumerate nums. First thing we'll check is if n is equal to 0. Because if it is, then we want to move our left pointer ahead to the right pointer. But remember, add a 1 here so that we don't count this number as a 1 as well. Next, we'll calculate our max, which would be the max of output and r minus l plus 1. Finally, return the output. And that should be it. Let's see if this works. Okay, it looks like it's working. And there we go. So time complexity is going to be O of n, and space complexity is going to be O of 1. Now, there are some variations of how you can do this, but really there's not a good way of making this any faster than this. So, so that's it. There are some variations, but I think this, this is good enough. All right, thanks for watching my channel, and remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.